running back Darrell Scott from Havelock, North Carolina, the second year in a row Tennessee's gotten someone from Havelock. Uh, and in, really, a second year in a row, Tennessee has gotten into the state of North Carolina and gotten a really big offensive impact player, and, and this was a huge and somewhat late pickup for the Vols. Yeah, one of one of the few late surprises or late late big pickups for, for Tennessee in this class, and to, to get a guy like that to pair with Jalen Hurd and then to throw in uh, Trayvon Polk also in this class to, to, for Tennessee to be able to add three running backs like that in one class is impressive, but to, to get him on top of a guy like Jalen Hurd, it's not hard to see those guys uh, pairing up in the backfield together for for quite some time, and uh, you know I, I think uh, Scott's a guy that may, maybe doesn't project as a as a long term starter, but certainly someone who I think is going to get a lot of carries throughout his career, and you could see being a, a major contributor maybe even for all four years. Um, comes in with a, a a good frame that maybe could add some weight and 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 potentially could be a better between the tackles runner, but a guy who immediately projects as someone who probably helps in space, you know, gets gets on the perimeter and and gets involved in the passing game and does some things like that uh, that, that maybe complement Jalen Hurd's game with a little more power at 230 pounds, Scott around 185 or so. So so kind of a good tandem there for, for Tennessee's spread offense. And let's talk about why it was so important to add another running back when they already had two in the class. Not a lot of margin for error on the current roster, obviously. And then, you know, two of their current commitments ha are coming off injuries. So it, almost a, an insurance policy to get a third running back in this class. Absolutely, and, that, and he was sold on the opportunity to play right away, and that's because you just don't know with Jalen Hurd coming off a shoulder injury in high school, Trayvon Paul coming off major knee surgery, will, will those guys be healthy? And, and Darrell Scott's a guy who played every game of his high school career, uh, pretty, showed, showed himself to be pretty durable in high school. And you mentioned Kendall Vickers, his, his former teammate at, at Havelock High School. I think that's a big reason Tennessee was able to get him, having that relationship there. Certainly uh, played, paid dividends at the school and with Darrell Scott personally knowing, uh, knowing someone at Tennessee. I think that was a big part in Tennessee being able to land him.